Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and this is my FM save taking Hemel Hempstead from the Vanarama National South up to the Premier League and hopefully Champions League glory. In today's episode, we are playing against Wildstone who are in second place. We are first, it's a top of the table clash and let's see who wins this six pointer. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We are playing as Hemel Hempstead and in this save, we are currently first in the league table. Now, we haven't been first for a long, long time. We've been second, second, second all the way through until we just hit top spot. And the next game we have is against Wildstone. This is a massive, massive game for Hemel. If we win, I think it puts us in pole position to get promoted. If we lose, we are then playing catch up with around about eight games to go. Now let's go into the league table. As you can see here, first spot for the Tudors. We've played 37, we've won 21, lot, uh, drawn nine, lost seven, scored a league high 61 goals, let in 31 with a goal difference of plus 30. Now, our form over the last five games, two wins, two draws, and one loss. And if we look at Hemel, Hemel, uh, it's not Hemel, Wildstone, they are in poor form. They have lost three of the last five. However, they did win their last game. So we go into now our tactics. Let's have a look, see if we see any new faces. And there is a couple, and I'm going to introduce you to... Raphael Naya. Now, Raphael comes from PSG and Wolves, and he's now finding himself all the way down in the Vanarama National South, quite the departure from Paris. But he, I like a lot about him. Can play at fullback, can play at centre back, six foot, and has got some decent physicals, some okay um, technicals, and a couple of nice mentals. If we go over into our other players, we have signed a kid called Noam Emeran, who was at Manchester United, released. Look, man, you paid 1.8 million for him, and he's now at Hemel Hempstead. There's a lot to like about him. He's a, a pacey-ish kind of wide player, kind of inverted, can play over here on the right-hand side. Good dribbling, good technique, not great mentals, and some of the physicals aren't great either. But he's uh, one of the highly rated players here. Who else did we sign? Let's have a look. We signed a guy called Jody Jones, who was at Coventry for most of his career. Here he is. Hasn't played the last few seasons and was released by Coventry. Again, a really tidy player, good technique, good flair, good dribbling, especially in for Vanarama National South. He's 25 years old and we've got him until the end of the season. And that is pretty much about it. We brought in, uh, let's have a look at Rakesh Bingham. Rakesh Bingham, 10 goals, uh, 10 goals across the season, eight league goals. Hasn't been in wonderful form, as you can see here, with some of the, the downward trend in his progression. Thiago Kuka is the league's top goal scorer. Here he is, 20 league goals in 31 league games, 7.17. He's having a very good season for us. And I really think that if we can get Bingham scoring again. We're uh, we're doing we're going to do pretty well. A, a surprise for me of the season has been a guy called Ben Elliott, and we brought him in, and he wasn't really as you can see fourteen off the bench, fifteen starters, but he's been starting a lot recently. We kind of tweaked the tactic to fit him in, and we've put him in as an advanced playmaker role in this central area. So here we go. This is a big six pointer against Wildstone. Oh, I'm quite nervous for this one. So, in today's game, if we can beat Wildstone, we'll be in a much better place to get promoted. And as you know, in this particular league, you need to finish first in the table to get promoted or you go into the lottery, which is playoffs. We were in there last year, made it to the semis and got knocked out. Now we've got a chance. First place with around about nine games to go. 
Five minutes in and we get the first highlight. Long throw-ish by Nyan. Oh, um, yes, there you go. The tunes are one nil up in the first five minutes. A throw in from Naya, flicked on by Noah Emeran, and then Tiago Kuka is like a fox in the box, unmarked, glances it in and puts the Tudors 1 0 up. Great start by the boys, and let's give them a good shout of praise. Playing out from the back, Alawu into Andre Wisdom, pumps it forward, flicks on by Tiago Kuka, and Rakish can't get on to the flick on. And we mop up the ball. Solbo out towards Harry Boys, drops it into Andre Wisdom, into Nidam. Now, Nidam has actually told us that he's not going to sign a new contract, so he will be leaving Hemel at the end of this season, along with Freddie Hines. Remember, Freddie Hines scored 25 league goals last year. And that is Ben Elliott giving the ball away in the central midfield area. And are we going to be punished? Oh, Allah, who's on a yellow card. And, but he's won the ball and Thiago Kuka has put Rakesh Bingham in. What a cultured finish that is. My word. What a, it says it's a blockbuster, but you look at the curve on this finish. I thought Alawu was going to get the red card there. But Rakesh Bingham plays the old one-two with Thiago and he gets it back. And at this position, I'm like, all right, look at that for a finish. Lovely. Tudors are 2-0 up in a massive, massive game for us. It says that Wildstone are all over the place. Can we capitalise? Harry Boys drops it back into Solberg. Solberg gives it back to Boys into Wisdom, pumps it forward. And we've lost out with the two headers there. Great tackle by Nidam. Elliot into Emiran. Go on, Emiran. Ball in behind, and it's not good enough. And Plain get picks up the loose ball. Uh-oh. That's poor from Wildstone. Or oh, sorry, from Hemel. Wildstone there of have carved us open with a simple ball over the top and then it's been finished. And they, Wildstone have scored with their first shot on target. I don't get this. When you give the shout of encourage and it upsets them to the point where they go into the big angry red face. I don't get that. Surely a scream of a shout from encouragement is, should be taken pretty well. Like, come on, boys, right? We seem to be losing it out in this midfield area. Ben Elliott, even though he's got a seven rating in here, he seems to be the one that's turning the ball over a little bit. Good ball into Thiago Kuka. Ben Elliott drops it back into Lusu, heads it on, and Rakish Bingham is in, one on one. And he's hit the post. He's hit the post. Oh, what a big chance. Well, our two forwards are playing pretty well. Thiago Kuka on 7.8, Bingham on a 7.6. Emiran is having a good game on 7.2 and Alaru on 7.3. There we go, Naya. Drops it back into Alaru, back into Naya. Ben Elliott into Emiran. We're keeping the ball, working it around. And it's a big pump into, and Thiago's in. Cuts it back to Emiran. Can we carve a shot? And it's cleared and it's cleared. And Harry Boy swings it, crosses it. Get in there, Tiago. Get in there. Now, one of the things that we did with this tactic, we noticed that their goalkeeper didn't like him, didn't like the aerial balls into the box. So we kind of shifted our tactic around to have a lot more crosses into the box. And Harry Boy's with the early ball in and Thiago raises up like a salmon out of water and heads it in and puts to Tudors 3-1 up. Excellent, excellent goal. A little pause, a little break. Uh, it's a highlight into Wildstone. We've got Naya off the field. We are down to 10 men as this highlight goes through. 
Alan's got the ball out left and it's a cross that's been blocked. Crosses into the, and it's a free header. And it's 3-2. And Wildstone have scored two goals with their only two shots on target. Disastrous defending by Hemel here. We're going back to the old Kevin Keegan days of we'll just score more goals than you. That is not good enough though. If we need to be winning the title, we cannot be defending like this. Two shots on target and they've scored two goals. But our front two are doing well. Kieran Mitchell, through ball. Rakesh Bingham. And he's been denied again by the goalkeeper. Rakesh Bingham could have a hat-trick. Corner to the Tudors. Harry Boys to whip it in. And it's been headed clear at the front post and it's a throw-in to Hemel. What a first half of football this has been. And we should be in clear daylight here between us and Wildstone. And because of our poor defending, I mean, look at this. We should be much better than the 3-2 suggests. Let's have a little look at the analytical data. We've had so many opportunities to score in and around the box. You can see here we're playing with our two nice wingers that are really getting forward and so are they. So it's kind of ma matched up. All right, in the dressing room, I think, yeah, let's, we want to pump the fists hasn't really had an impact. Okay, let's get into the tactics. Ben Elliott is injured and he will come off. I was going to take him off anyway, so that works out pretty well. Now, Raphael Naya is also injured, but feels he can shake off the knock, so we'll do that. All right, Ben Elliott. Now, Ben Elliott is going to come off and we'll put on Jezreel Davies. And what we'll do is we'll switch Davies with Nidam. And Nidam is going to be a box-to-box. -box, a bit more support. Okay. Maybe we're getting overrun in that central midfield area. Here we go. Starting a huge 45 minutes in the course of Hemel's season. We are 3-2 up against Wildstone, who are obviously placed in second position in the table. I tell you what, if we could score a fourth here, that would put us in a wonderful position to finish this game. Yeah, everyone seems to be okay. No one's on the on the old red heart at the moment. First to go might be Naya. And if that's the case, who do we have on the bench to come on? We have Tanimowo. That's not a bad one. So let's do let's do that in about five minutes. See if we can squeeze out. All right. Okay, highlight. Wildstone start it. Davies into Alawu, into Naya, into Nidam, and Nidam's been robbed of it by Turner, the ex ex Hemel player. And Naya has got the ball back after good work from Emran, and it's clipped into Rakesh Bingham, who drops it back into Wisdom. Jezreel Davies into Kieran Mitchell. Go on, son, get round him, and can we get that cross into the box? Rakesh Bingham, what a cross by Kieran Mitchell. He gets to the byline line and clips it up and Rakesh Bingham has his second goal of the day. Great wing play by Kieran Mitchell there. Only playing at a 6.6 .6, and this is the moment of, of glory for him. Rakesh Bingham gets up above his marker and heads it in. Love that. 4-2 to Hemel. We're dropped down the mentality into positive. And what we're going to do right here, let's pause. Kieran Mitchell is going to come off. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring on Kayon Edwards. But we're just going to drop his winger role into... We're going to go wide midfielder and we're going to go support. All right. 4-2 with 10 minutes to go. We're going to drop this mentality down a little bit more. Let's confirm those changes. Let's pop that down to balanced. Let's take off the right back and bring on Tani Mowo. And I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Full time. Full time at the Tudors. And there you go. We have just beaten the team that is in second place, Wildstone. 
And that has clearly given us a great advantage going in. Rakesh Bingham there with a 9.1. Let's have a little look at his stats. 82% passing, four key passes. He made 50% of his shots were on target. Thiago Kuka there with 80% of his shots on target. Love that. Let's get into the dressing room. Nice work, everybody. That was good. Let's see what it's done to the league table. Okay. So, on 38 games played, we are on 75 points. We've given ourselves a three-point gap. However, Wildstone do have a game in hand, which would mean if they win that game, it would be then, well down to goal difference of which we still do have a positive goal difference in terms of the rest of their team Dover on 68 Ebsfleet on 67 Western and Concord on 66 and Billericay on 64 along with Maidstone so if we can finish strong with the last eight games of the season we could get promoted to the Vanarama National everybody thank you so much for watching this is a one game uh, little episode for us um, 4 2, what a win against Wildstone, and let's see if we can get ourselves promoted. Up the Tudors.